Curtis Smith appeared in court today for a bond hearing. He's the alleged accomplice in the 2021 roadside shooting of Alec Murdoch. Our Brooke Butler joins us now live from our newsroom tonight. Brooke, Smith is facing a host of charges. Yeah, Shannon, beyond the charges tied to that botched suicide for hire plot, Smith also faces charges for money laundering, drug trafficking, and more. He's now been in jail for eight months, but today his attorneys made it clear that Smith wants to go back on house arrest. We have a motion to reinstate the bond. At the Richland County Courthouse Monday, Curtis Edward Smith appeared before a judge hoping to have his bond reinstated. Judge Clifton Newman initially set Smith's bond at $250,000, but he revoked that bond back in August after state prosecutors revealed Smith had violated the terms of his house arrest. Prosecutors claimed during a two-week span in July, Smith left his Hampton County home more than two dozen times. Smith told Judge Newman Monday, ever since he's been in jail, his health has deteriorated. My sugar's off the chart, blood pressure's off the chart, so I mean, just, and I got titanium rods and screws in my back, and I have not been able to get any medical treatment for my pain for eight months. Prosecutor John Metters told the judge Monday he was in support of Smith's bond being reinstated, citing Smith's willingness to testify in the Alec Murdoch double murder trial. He has cooperated completely and we are asking your honor to take that into consideration. Judge Clifton Newman ended up agreeing to reinstate the bond so long as Smith agreed to follow the conditions of his release. Yes, your honor. Totally understand. Curtis Edward Smith faces charges for his role in the botched suicide for hire plot involving Murdoch. He also faces charges for trafficking methamphetamine, forgery, money laundering and more. Smith is set to again appear before Judge Clifton Newman later this month for a status conference. As it relates to the um, excuse me, state grand jury charges, um, I imagine that's what we're going to discuss at the um, status conference that Judge Newman mentioned. And Brooke, do we have any idea when a trial might take place for Smith? Not quite yet, Shannon, but Smith's lawyers told reporters today that they will be requesting a speedy trial. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thanks so much for that report tonight.